Right now on Good Morning Northwest, the Kennewick Police Department is asking for your help in finding this man. Take a good look. What details we know coming up. The Yakima County Sheriff's Office is defending its decision to shoot and kill more than 60 roosters taken from a property in the county. Why they say they had to do it. And after a security breach in Richland, what you can do right now to protect your information. And meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Will we see drier days ahead? Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jill Sperling. Jessica has the morning off. It is 5 a.m. on Thursday, May 23rd. Let's check in right away this morning on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, a bit cooler temperatures yesterday. What can we expect today? We are going to warm up starting today, Jill, and we will start to dry things out after two days of rain across the Columbia Basin. So we'll talk how much rain we saw coming up a little bit later on in this show. But you can see there are a lot of clouds out there right now. That will be the case this morning. And this is what it looks like outside of our studio camera here in Kennewick. So we are partly to mostly cloudy. Temperatures are a little bit cooler at this time than they were 24 hours ago. We're at 50 right now in Tri-Cities, but we'll likely fall into the 40s over the next hour. 48 in Prosser, 48 in Hermiston, in. We're at 48 in Walla Walla and 41 degrees in Yakima. Wind speeds have certainly come down overnight. It was a windy day yesterday. Some places saw wind gusts as high as 50 miles per hour, and that was down toward Pendleton and portions of Northeast Oregon. Right now, they're anywhere between 5 and about 15 miles per hour, a little bit stronger across the Kittitas Valley, as that is typically the case. So as you go out this morning, temperatures will be in the 50s. No umbrella needed. We will see more sunshine this afternoon, low to middle 70s, excuse me, across the board with Walla Walla making it into the upper 60s. Jill. Thank you, Tiffany. We start this morning in Kennewick with police investigating what they say is a suspicious disappearance of a man. Authorities say 39-year-old Annabel Ariola is uh, also known as Alex Garcia or Tyson has disappeared. They say his car is also missing. Ariola is described as 5 feet 9 inches tall and weighing about 220 pounds. His vehicle is a 1988 white Honda Civic with Washington plates. Authorities say anyone who would like to give an anonymous tip can do so at kpdtips.com. One person has died after a head-on crash with a semi near Zilla. The crash happened yesterday just before 2 p.m. on I-82, about four miles west of Zilla. According to the state patrol, a 57-year-old man was driving in the eastbound lane when he crossed the median and went into the westbound lanes. He then crashed into a semi going west. The man died at the scene and his identity has not yet been officially released. The driver of the semi was not hurt. What led up to the crash is still under investigation. Now to a follow-up on a story out of Yakima County. The Yakima County Sheriff's Office is defending its killing of more than 60 roosters used in a suspected cockfighting ring we told you about back in April. The Sheriff's Office says it took the roosters involved in the cockfighting ring from a property in the county after the owner surrendered them. The Sheriff's Office says it was working with the ATF on relocating the roosters, but the ATF could not yet take possession of them due to a situation with search warrants. The Sheriff's Office says it did not have a lot of options for the care or housing of the roosters and did not have an on-call veterinarian to euthanize them. The Sheriff's Office shot and killed all 64 roosters, saying it was necessary under the circumstances. However, an animal rescue on the western side of the state says it had been in contact with the Sheriff's Office and the ATF and making preparations to take the birds. And they were shocked when they learned that birds had been killed. At this time, it's unclear why the birds were not taken to the sanctuary, except the Sheriff's Office says it had limitations in workforce and resources. This is stemming from the case of the La Nuestra Familia, a Mexican-American prison gang that was operating in the Yakima area. In the wake of a data breach in the city of Richland, not much new information has been released. While people wait to learn more, what can they be doing to protect themselves? Our own Monique Ledesma talked with a federal cybersecurity expert 
on what you can do right now. I talked to a federal cybersecurity expert about what anyone can do to protect your information online and respond. If you find out that someone has gotten access, Ian Moore, Cybersecurity State Coordinator at U.S. Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, says, start by reporting the breach to the Internet Crime Complaint Center. The website to do that online is ic3.gov. Then reset your passwords and make sure to choose a good one. Making passwords longer, so we recommend... Uh, over 12 characters, uh, making sure they're complex. So using uh, uppercase, lowercase numbers and special characters. Moore also says adding extra steps to access your accounts will help secure them. You'll also want to make sure your software systems are up to date and set up alerts where you can, so you get a warning if there's anything strange happening. You'll want to actually set up alerts uh, potentially with the company, but also with banks and with your uh, your your credit bureaus um, to to make sure that anybody if anybody does try to do anything in your uh, with your credit that they actually um, alert you that there's activity going on. Moore also says when making purchases online to make sure the site you're putting your card information in is an authentic seller website. You're not just Googling stuff that you want to buy online, but going to sites that you know have have specific uh, um, reputation or ratings and reviews. And the big thing to know about cybersecurity, it's a constant battle before and after a data breach. It's something you should always be checking your your credit uh, your your accounts. Um, in fact, changing passwords regularly is not a bad deal either. That's why you should use a password manager so that um, you have a system in place for updating the passwords. For Apple Valley News Now, I'm Monique Ledesma. Now, as for the city of Richland breach, city officials say at this time they're not able to give more information about how many people have been impacted, but hope to release more information soon. The Washington Department of Veterans Affairs hosted a town hall about a newly proposed veterans cemetery for the Tri-Cities. It was standing room only at the West Richland Police Department as local officials and members of the community showed up to learn about the proposal. People learned about projected needs of the area's veteran population, facility specifications and designs, community involvement and site criteria. Public input and discussion was also encouraged. A lot of the families, when those around here, you had a choice. You could sit uh, there, a uh, soldier could go to Arlington, uh, Tahoma Cemetery, and then Medical Lake, which came in in 2005. And so, anyway, um, that's a travel, that's a long ways. And um, when you lose somebody, you're very emotional anyway. As of now, there are only two veteran cemeteries in the state of Washington. One is federally recognized, the other is considered a state cemetery. Officials noted we are only in the early stage of this massive proposal. Also a reminder for today, Richland Police is hosting an internet safety presentation focused on preventing internet crimes against children. The presentation is from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the Richland Community Center in the Riverview Room. It's free and open to anyone, but registration is required. You can find the registration at applevalleynewsnow.com. Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, another case of bird flu in humans has been reported. What officials say about this case and the ongoing testing to learn more. We've got your health headlines coming up next. Life's better when you're under the American Family Insurance roof, because when you feel totally protected, your family's free to pursue their dreams. She's got a great swing. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. A lot is changing in our community right now. New roads, new schools, and new opportunities. We're growing, and that means there are more cars on our streets than ever before. That's why we're expanding our facilities and services. So no matter what roads lie ahead, you'll always find your way home. Find your way home in a new 2024 Chevy Silverado with financing as low as 1.9% from McCurley Chevrolet. Okay, nature lovers, at U.S. Cellular, you can get an iPhone 15 Pro on us, plus $300 off a new iPad. It's true. Check out this amazing photo of an Iberian lynx I got. Oh, uh, that's a tabby cat. And a slaty bristle front. A pigeon. And even Bigfoot. 
Yeah, so that's Gary. Oh, yeah, bro. That's me. Bigfoot does not exist. And Gary does exist. Right now at U.S. Cellular, get an iPhone 15 Pro on us, plus $300 off any iPad. U.S. Cellular, built for us. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998, open seven days a week. Looking for a bladder leak pad that keeps you dry? All of the things that you're looking for in a pad, that is always discreet. Look at how it absorbs all the liquid. Oh my gosh. And locking it right on in. And look at that, totally absorbed. I gotta get some always discreet. Bother the bugs. Not your family. Zevo is made with essential oils which attack bugs' biological systems. It wipes cleanly, plus is safe for use around people and pets. Zevo, people friendly, bug deadly. Memorial Day weekend is finally here, and Moore Furniture is celebrating with store-wide sale prices and free white glove delivery all weekend long. It's your chance for huge savings on furniture, mattresses, and accessories all under one roof. Why buy online when you can get real furniture at a real value and have it delivered and professionally installed for free? Visit your local Moore Furniture this Memorial weekend. Life's better when you're under the American Family Insurance roof, because when you feel totally protected, your family's free to pursue their dreams. She's got a great swing. American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. Good morning, Northwest. Streams all day at AppleValleyNewsNow.com and our mobile apps. In your health headlines this morning, a case of bird flu has been reported in a farm worker in Michigan. State and federal health officials say that worker had regular exposure to infected livestock and was being monitored due to that exposure. The person reported only eye symptoms and has recovered. This is now the second human case reported as part of the ongoing U.S. virus outbreak linked to cattle. A case in Texas was, re was reported in March, and that patient had also recovered with no lasting problems. Health officials say the risk to the general public remains low. If you're still wanting to get free COVID-19 vaccines, you only have a few months before a federal program ends. The Bridge Access Program for low-income Americans will end in August. Health centers and departments are worried about how they'll secure funding ahead of the winter respiratory viral season without the program. The Biden administration is currently seeking permanent funding so that routine vaccinations can remain free for adults. Even if your diet consists of 90% eating healthy and 10% eating ultra-processed foods, a new study shows there are still risks of cognitive decline and stroke. The study looked at the diets of 30,000 people who have been followed for up to 20 years. Foods like prepackaged soups, french fries, store-bought cookies and ice cream fall under the ultra-processed category. The study found that increasing one's intake of ultra-processed foods by 10 percent raises the risk of cognitive impairment by 16 percent. Researchers say a higher intake of ultra-processed foods was associated with a 50 percent higher risk of cardiovascular disease-related death. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, another day of more destructive severe weather. We take a look at the mess left behind by a tornado in Texas, the ongoing cleanup after deadly twisters in Iowa, and who could see severe weather today? And we're drying out and warming up across our region. Meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. We'll be right back. The new Tempur-Pedic Breeze helps you sleep cooler. So no more nocturnal baking or polar ice cap air conditioner mode because the Tempur-Pedic Breeze delivers all night cooling. Mattress Depot USA. Your best days of the year start here at Kubota Orange Days. It's the year's biggest selection of Kubota tractors, zero-turn mowers, and utility vehicles, including the number one selling compact tractor in the USA. 
Plus, get zero down and 0% APR for 84 months or up to $2,800 off select Kubota tractors. Orange goes all day. Sales ending soon. Visit your local dealer today. Find a Kubota dealer near you at GoKubota.com. At the Pacific Clinic, we understand the juggle of parenthood. That's why the PC is your one-stop shop for all your health, sports, and medical needs. Schedule your appointments around your favorite group fitness classes and use our on-site child care services. From women's health to care for your little ones, we practice a comprehensive approach to keep your family feeling great. With our quick and convenient scheduling, we'll get you in within the same week, often the next day. Call us today at 509-783-5465. During the massive four-day sale at Furniture Row, when we say the savings are massive, we mean massive. Shop today and take 100 bucks off every thousand you spend and watch the savings stack up. And with the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed, it's the perfect time to design a new living room, dining room, bedroom, or fall into a new mattress. Check out doorbusters while they last. And financing, we're talking six years, no interest. But don't wait, savings this massive won't last. Okay guys, we're all here because U.S. Cellular has an incredible deal. Right now you can get unlimited data for just $30 a line. Sorry, just double checking. Is it really that good of a deal? Yeah, it's a huge deal. On top of that, you also get four free phones. Four free phones! Wow, I just triple checked and that's awesome. So go get that deal. Or at least help me clip. Do you check expiration dates? Oh, I can do that. Great. Four free phones plus unlimited data for just $30 a line. No trade-in needed. Honda you want is here, driving the moment with the rugged and capable Ridgeline, Passport, and Pilot. Find your adventure with great offers now available on the Honda you want. All from the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. During our Patriot sale, you'll get amazing values. Like a Sealy Queen mattress for $3.99. Come to Mattress Depot USA. Before our Patriot sale ends. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Hello there. Watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. <clears throat> From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. It was a rainy day on Tuesday. We saw scattered showers and even a few thunderstorms yesterday. So our rain totals have increased since what I showed you yesterday morning. They've come up a little bit more in Walla Walla, about 68 hundredths of an inch of rain over the past two days. Pendleton, just under a half an inch. Hermiston coming up to about three tenths of an inch. Tri-Cities, we only saw three hundredths of an inch yesterday, so we really didn't bump up that number much at all, about a quarter of an inch there, and only about six hundredths of an inch in Yakima. We barely saw anything yesterday, but this is good because we've actually seen above average rainfall in many locations for the month of May. And we'll have a monthly update coming up with the new drought monitor in about a half an hour. Our temperatures are in the 40s and 50s this morning. It's a chilly start out there. 46 at Hanford, 47 Connell, 50 in Tri-Cities, 48 in Walla Walla, 48 in Prosser, and 48 degrees in Pendleton and in Hermiston. It was a windy day yesterday, but those wind speeds have really come down and relaxed overnight. Right now, they're between five and about 10 miles per hour. The exception across Ellensburg and the Kittitas Valley where winds will be a little bit stronger today, but not nearly as bad as what we saw yesterday. Ellensburg, you saw wind gusts over 60 miles per hour. Here's the storm system that brought us the rain over the past couple of days. That is now pushing off to the east. You can see we still have a lot of clouds in place, but as that pulls away, we will see these clouds clear out gradually by the afternoon hours. We'll see more sunshine and it will be a pretty nice day. Nicer than yesterday for sure. Yesterday we only saw highs in the 50s and 60s. Today, 60s along the foothills of the Blues, but 70s for many of us. 74 in the Tri-Cities, 72 in Prosser, 71 Connell, and 73 degrees 
in Yakima. Tonight will go partly cloudy, mainly clear at times, but we'll call it partly cloudy for the most part as temperatures drop into the 40s once again. But I think there will be enough breaks in the clouds for you to see the ISS tonight and for you to spot the full moon. So here are the details. Today at 9:12, that's when the ISS will pass overhead. It'll be a long past six minutes. Maximum height above the horizon, 68 degrees, and it'll start off in the west northwest sky. So 9:12 is the time to step outside to check that out. The moon won't rise until around 9:30. So if you're going to want to see both, you're going to have to go out twice tonight. It's exactly full this morning, but the moon already set, so you're not going to be able to see it. Moon will rise tonight at 9:26, and it'll set tomorrow morning at 529. So if you don't see the full flower moon tonight, there's a chance you'll see it tomorrow morning if you wake up before 530. Temperatures by tomorrow morning will be down into the middle 40s. So another chilly start and tomorrow afternoon will take temperatures up a few degrees into the middle 70s, 76 in Tri-City, 74 in Toppenish, 72 in Walla Walla. The warm up really starts to take hold as we head into next week. Now, Saturday temperatures come down a bit as a weak disturbance moves in from the north and west. We get a few more clouds out of it. Then look at Sunday, 78. We're in the middle 80s for Memorial Day. So the weather is going to cooperate if you plan on hitting the pool. 73 today in Yakima, 72 on Friday, and then we drop to 68. We're breezy on Saturday with 80s back of the forecast early next week for the holiday. 69 today in Walla Walla. Can't rule out a spotty shower with that next upper level disturbance. Friday into Saturday. Chances very low, though. Breezy Saturday, 80s on Monday in Hermiston, 72 today, 74 tomorrow. Breezy Saturday with 80s on Monday. Joe? is bracing again for more severe weather. <laughs> this as we approach the busy Memorial Day weekend. Christiane Cordero says the communities in Iowa hit just a day ago by deadly tornadoes, also preparing for the worst. This morning, dozens of people are recovering from injuries as a small town in central Iowa tries to recover from an EF3 tornado that ripped it apart. From above, the tornado's path is clear in a trail of debris. On the ground, neighbors remember hearing sirens. So I got all the kids and went downstairs into this room, the only room left standing, um, and just kind of huddled in the corner. And it got really quiet and then really loud, and then everything was gone. Wind speeds hit over 135 miles per hour, killing several people. This man says he came across one of the victims. And he looked bad, and he was trying to find his dog. And I told him I would try to help find his dog, and they took him away, and I, and I know now that he has lost his life. In nearby Carbon, Iowa, storm chasers were on the road when debris flew right in front of them. And in Prescott, wind turbines were snapped in half. Some caught fire. Spray paint shows homes and vehicles that have already been searched. There's just all your memories in your own home, everything that you worked so hard to build, just gone. And in the mess are also miracles. This woman tells ABC's Victor Okendo she lost just about everything, but found one thing that can't be replaced. Could you believe that the wedding band, no. they were able to find it? No. Just looking at no. all of that. No, none of it. Nope. FEMA will be on the ground today. The White House says it is ready to provide support as needed. Moving south to Texas, where a tornado ripped through the city of Temple, more than 60,000 customers were left without power. It's not known when it will be restored. At the mall, part of the roof was damaged, windows were shattered, and debris littered the parking lot with damaged vehicles. Dozens of homes and businesses were destroyed. The area is expected to get another round of severe weather today, and the area remains under a flood watch. More than 190 storm reports were submitted across the nation Wednesday. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, a Kennewick High School senior recognized on the national level for her education achievements. Why this is the second time on Good Morning America for valedictorian Gracie Rainsbury and how it was made special. It's Ford SUV season. Time to get out there and take on adventure in a whole new way. Let's get going. Get 0 for 72 and 3,000 cash on an Escape or 3,000 on a Mustang Mach-E. Only at your local Ford dealer. A lot of the public doesn't realize it's not a requirement of a used car dealer to fix open safety recalls before they sell them. A safety recall can be a million things. 
from your airbags to your brakes to your, you know, even your tailgate opening is something flying out of the back. It's not something we're going to take lightly and we're gonna make sure that every customer gets in a vehicle that's safe and 100% compliant. And that starts with, you know, a 102 point inspection. And not only when the vehicle's reconditioned for the lot, but we also check those vehicles again at the time of sale. We're never gonna let you drive off this lot on a vehicle that has an open safety recall. The vehicle we sell is a representation of us. And if we don't do everything we can to make sure it's a great product at a great value, then we don't want you driving the car. But currently certified pre-owned means that your vehicle meets a higher standard. Find your way home in a Subaru certified pre-owned vehicle from McCurley Subaru. The pursuit of happiness starts with a good night's sleep. It's your patriotic right to get fantastic savings on premium quality mattress sets. We source from local manufacturers to get the finest quality and comfort at the lowest price. During our Patriot sale, you'll get amazing values. Like $3.99 for a queen-size Sealy plush mattress. Or an adjustable bed for $9.99. To celebrate, come to Mattress Depot USA. Before our Patriot sale ends. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Have you ever had a day like this? Bad days are why we got in the game. Kapuza Lighty, Accident Injury Lawyers. Get incredible savings on top-of-the-line mattress brands at Moore Furniture during the memorial event. Save up to $800 on the very best sleep systems from luxury brands like Tempur-Pedic, Sealy, and Stearns and & Foster. And you'll get special 60-month interest-free financing to help you rest even easier. Get fitted for your perfect sleep system today and save up to $800 at Moore Furniture for less. It's Ford SUV season. Time to get out there and take on adventure in a whole new way. Let's get going. Get zero for 72 and 3,000 cash on an Escape or 3,000 on a Mustang Mach-E. Only at your local Ford dealer. The awesome Hiawatha Trail. Fly the Northwest, Tuesday night at 6. Welcome back. Congratulations are in order for a local high school student. Kamayakin senior Gracie Rainsbury received a $10,000 scholarship from Sally May, but the award was a little more high profile than most. Check this out. Well, you, you, we've known you, you both are, um, you have nearly full scholarships to your school. Congratulations. You both have been doing so incredible. Congratulations on that. But Sally May, which is the Education Solutions Company, wants to make sure you're totally set once you get to college. So they're going to give you each $10,000 to put towards your meal plans, your books, and whatever else you want to do. So how does that feel? That's going to help you. That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. You're the crier. <laughs> and her twin sister were adopted into different families, then reunited on Good Morning America seven years ago. Now they're both valedictorians. Gracie is planning to attend Eastern Oregon University in La Grande. Her twin is going to Vanderbilt University in Tennessee. You can see the whole clip on our website. Coming up on Good Morning Northwest at 530, it can happen to anyone at any age. So why are our seniors the most vulnerable for scammers? We take a look at the multi-billion dollar industry leaving seniors penniless. And a Pasco City Councilman is taking on parking in the downtown area. What he is proposing to solve what he says is a big issue. In today's Tech Bites, T-Mobile is raising rates on some of its plans. The increases will be at $5 per month per line. They start June 5th and affect multiple older plans. Recent Go 5G plans and price lock customers remain unaffected. Meta's Ray-Ban smart glasses can now upload photos directly to Instagram stories and play Amazon Music. Users can share images hands-free and control music with voice commands. The glasses also offer guided meditation, object description, and 
hands-free phone calls. Finally, Airbnb is partnering with ChargePoint, offering hosts discounts on electric vehicle chargers. Hosts get 25% off chargers and $100 off installation. Airbnb says listings with electric vehicle chargers see more searches and more bookings. Those are your Tech bites. Have a great day. I was drowning in debt. I had over $36,000 in debt. If I would have just made the minimum payments, it would have taken me 59 years to pay off. National Debt Relief can significantly reduce the amount you owe. National Debt Relief reduced my debt by over $27,000. With National Debt Relief, you have a powerful team that knows how to talk to your creditors. National Debt Relief, they got me out of debt. Call or visit nationaldebtrelief.com to get started. Drift into the world of Candy Crush. Candy Crush. Play now. Oh, my leaf filter? I just scheduled an appointment online and the inspection was a breeze. They explained everything. Leaf filter technology protects your gutters for good. Now, my home is protected. Call 833 Leaf Filter or visit leaffilter.com. Right now on Good Morning Northwest, it's a multi-billion dollar industry and its biggest target are some of the most vulnerable in our communities. We're talking about scammers and why they target our seniors. Washington voters will have the chance to repeal the capital gains tax. We break down what people are saying and how they want the vote to go. And a Pasco City Councilman says parking in the downtown area is a big problem not just for people, but for businesses. His proposal and when he wants to hear from you. And meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your full forecast. Will we see drier days ahead? Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning and thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jill Sperling. Jessica has the morning off. It is 531 on Thursday, May 23rd. Let's check in this morning on your forecast with meteorologist Tiffany Savona. Tiffany, a bit drier this morning. We're seeing a beautiful sunrise this morning. We're off to a really good start this Thursday. We are. Yeah, we're done with the rain. After the past two days, it's been a wet go of it. And today you can finally leave the umbrella at home as we're starting off dry. But there are a fair bit of clouds out there right now. So first alert radar showing that there's nothing out there. All of these showers have pushed well off to the east, but here are the clouds and you can see them out of our Kennewick sky cam here. We are partly to mostly cloudy this morning. Our temperatures are starting off in the 40s and 50s, 50 in Tri-Cities, 48 Walla Walla, 48 in Hermiston and Pendleton, and we're down to 41 degrees in Yakima. Now we do expect those winds to stay on the light side today. Right now they're anywhere between five and about 10 miles per hour, a little bit stronger up toward Ellensburg as that is typically the case, but even your wind speeds will be coming down today. <clears throat> Excuse me, so we're not nearly as breezy today compared to yesterday. Temperatures in the 40s, so you'll need the jacket, but like I mentioned, leave the umbrella at home. And this evening we're looking at high temperatures into the middle 70s. So the weather should not slow you down this morning or even this evening as you're heading home from work. We have a big holiday weekend in store. We'll have that travel forecast and we'll also talk about our May rain totals that I promised you coming up in a little bit. Jill, back to you. Thank you, Tiffany. Scammers could target anyone, but experts say there's a group that's particularly at risk. Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell talked to local and federal investigators on handling crimes against senior citizens. In 2023, total losses reported to the FBI by seniors over 60 totaled $3.4 billion. And if you don't think you or someone you care about could be a victim, think again. FBI Seattle Special Agent Ethan Vi says the number of scams and financial damage has gone up in recent years, but the tales scammers tell are mostly the same. He says scammers prey heavily on seniors because they're more vulnerable to attacks. Retirees have more time to spend online, giving scammers more opportunities to get to them, and they may have comfortable retirement accounts. They'll go so down, far down the road, their life savings 
are gone, right? So I, I've talked to elderly folks in their 70s who now have to contemplate going back to work because of what these fraudsters did. You know, if this is supposed to be the golden age of their lives. They've worked their entire lives and the fraudsters just swoop in and they take away um, those golden years from, from these people and it's, uh, it's despicable. But when seniors fall victim to scams, many don't report it to the authorities. They uh, feel embarrassed that, uh, that they wouldn't, something that they should have known they didn't know about. But scammers, that's all they do all day long. They're very good at it um, and they know how to intimidate you. That's why authorities say education, prevention, and communication with seniors is so important. Tonight at 6, I break down the types of scams seniors are facing, how people are falling victim to them, and how you can stop it. I also talk with a local senior center about what they're doing to keep their seniors safe and informed. It's a story you don't want to miss. Reporting from the Acoma Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Washington voters will have the chance to repeal the controversial capital gains tax with a statewide vote this fall. Initiative 2109 would repeal the tax, which state lawmakers approved several years ago. If you make more than $262,000 in a year on the stock market or by selling other long-term capital assets, like expensive art but not including real estate or livestock, you'll have to pay a 7% tax. Opponents held rallies in several Washington cities saying we should keep the capital gains tax because it, they say it gives a critical boost to education and child care. We get that funding on top of levies, so we can't ask the people of this community to pay any more. Than, like literally, legally, we can't ask them to pay any more than they already do in levies. So it, devastating is probably an understatement if we lose that funding. This will be on the ballot in November, and we have more background on the tax and who's impacted on our website. One Pasco City Councilman is trying to improve parking for business owners in downtown. Councilman Leo Perales re represents District 3 in the city. Perales says downtown businesses are struggling due to a lack of parking for both them and their customers. The councilman says with how fast Pasco is growing, something has to be done. Whether that's enforcing the two hour rule, building a parking garage or turning vacant lots with lots of cement into parking areas. We have stuff happening at the port. I mean, I mean, just a couple weeks ago, we had the biggest single to mile this city's ever seen with over 10,500 people showing up. It, it's, it's, a, it's a I mean, we are on the cusp of something great. And so we need to start managing that. We need to manage our growth. And I think that really starts with a, a parking program in downtown Pasco. Morales also says other city council members support this effort. The city plans to hold workshops about the parking issues. Reese Court at Eastern Washington University in Cheney still has the original floor from when it first opened nearly 50 years ago, but that's about to change. The floor has been taken out and construction crews are already working on the new look Reese Court. Student athletes say the upgrade is long overdue not having to worry about the dead spots on the floor and having to trip up or the ball not coming back up to you. I think it's going to be more enticing for new recruits coming in, seeing that we just also had our new um, training facility bill and this too now, I think it'll show that we're big school and we're ready to play. Nearly 100 events are held at Reese Court every year from high school graduations to wheelchair basketball tournaments. The new court is set to be complete in August, just in time for the start of volleyball season. Looking ahead nationally today, the Senate is set to vote on a border security bill. The measure failed earlier this year after former President Donald Trump told GOP lawmakers to knock it down. There's also division within the Democratic caucus. Some Democrats and immigrant advocates cast this as a political move ahead of the election. 60 votes are needed to break a GOP filibuster attempt. Democrats only have 51 votes total. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, just as you're getting ready to hit the road or maybe a loved one is traveling, the Washington State Patrol is going to be keeping an eye out for seatbelt offenders. Riley Fitzgerald talks with Trooper Chris Thorson on why it's important to buckle up to save lives. Is that your new Nissan Rogue? Yeah, crazy story. So this morning, I'm at the Nissan Thrill of Summer sales event, taking a test drive, when Dave's like, these cars are going fast. Hurry in for Memorial Day savings. Now, Nissan offers six vehicles starting under $30,000. 
During the massive four-day sale at Furniture Row, when we say the savings are massive, we mean massive. Shop today and take 100 bucks off every thousand you spend and watch the savings stack up. And with the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed, it's the perfect time to design a new living room, dining room, bedroom, or fall into a new mattress. Check out doorbusters while they last. And financing, we're talking six years, no interest. But don't wait, savings this massive won't last. No matter what roads lead you home, McCurley Mazda is about to make your journey even better. Whether it's cruising riverside highways, winding vineyard trails, or anywhere else your travels take you, now is the perfect time to upgrade your way home. Visit McCurley in the Pasco Autoplex today for this special offer. Find your way home in a new 2024 Mazda CX-5 with 0% financing up to 60 months from McCurley Mazda. For 600 different cigars and 125 pipe tobaccos, it's the Educated Cigar. For every cigar rated 96 and higher by Cigar Aficionado, it's the Educated Cigar. For 200 accessories, including dozens of humidors and fine pipes, it's the Educated Cigar. At the Educated Cigar, you can enjoy your favorite adult beverage and food from the on-site bar and restaurant while smoking and viewing the big game. Family owned and operated since 1998. Open seven days a week. Get ready, Walla Walla. The sweetest season is here. Join us at the ballpark as the Walla Walla Sweets hit the field for another unforgettable season. Whether you're a diehard fan or just looking for a fun night out, there's something for everyone at a Walla Walla Sweets game. Grab your peanuts, popcorn, and lucky cap because this season the Walla Walla Sweets are bringing the thrill of baseball right to your backyard. Don't miss out on the excitement. Get your tickets now and be part of the Walla Walla Sweets experience. Let's play ball. Welcome to Beaver Valley Lodge, your rustic lodging and event venue in the beautiful Leavenworth, Washington. Experience the great outdoors and enjoy the beauty of the mountains as you stay with us on our 50 acres in the Cascade foothills. Whether you're joining us for a wedding, retreat, vacation, or family reunion, we're here to make your stay unforgettable. We make it our goal for you to come as a guest, but leave as a friend. Book your stay today at beavervalleylodge.com. Is that your new Nissan Rogue? Yeah, crazy story. So this morning, I'm at the Nissan Thrill of Summer sales event, taking a test drive, when Dave's like, these cars are going fast. Hurry in for Memorial Day savings. Now, Nissan offers six vehicles starting under $30,000. Good morning, Northwest. Streams all day at AppleValleyNewsNow.com and our mobile apps. Click it or ticket. That's what the Washington Traffic Safety Commission is keeping a special eye out for. Law enforcement have high visibility enforcement patrols active across the state for drivers not wearing seat belts or who don't have child passengers in the correct car seat. Riley Fitzgerald joins us live in the studio this morning. Good morning, Riley. What can you tell us about this campaign? Good morning, Jill. From now until June 2nd, the Washington Traffic Safety Commission is focusing on its annual seatbelt campaign. According to the Traffic Safety Commission, Washington has had a high seatbelt use rate for a long time, but the number of fatalities and serious injuries involving people not wearing seatbelts has increased to the highest number since before 2010. Plus, according to data from the Safety Commission, in 2023, there was a 10% increase in fatalities where people were not wearing seatbelts. According to Trooper Chris Thorson with the Washington State Patrol, troopers have noticed that when the sun goes down, the seatbelts tend to come off. We know for a fact that people are wearing their seatbelts during the day in Washington State. We have a really high compliance rate, over 90%. But what we're seeing is at nighttime, people are not wearing them. And in 2023, just here locally, a little over 50% of the people that died in collisions were not wearing their seatbelt. According to Trooper Thorson, driving sober, obeying the speed limit, not driving distracted, and wearing a seatbelt will reduce fatality collisions across Washington State. When it comes to wearing a seatbelt, it's also important to be wearing it right. Keep in mind that when we're talking about wearing seatbelts, we're talking about wearing them properly. Uh, we do run across some people who actually uh, put their upper portion of the seatbelt underneath their arm because it's more comfortable for them. The problem is if that you get in a high speed rear end collision, your upper body is still going to move forward and strike the steering wheel or the front windshield. 
The Washington, uh, Washington state law requires everyone in a motor vehicle to wear a safety restraint or a seatbelt that is properly fastened. The fine for not wearing a seatbelt or appropriate child restraint means a citation and a fine of $136, and it's reported to the driver's insurance company. Another thing to mention is the 100 deadliest days coming up. Between Memorial Day weekend and Labor Day weekend, traffic safety officials refer to as the 100 deadliest days on the road for teen drivers, with an average of 2,100 teen drivers involved in fatal crashes. Another reason to bring awareness to distracted and drowsy driving, impaired driving, speeding, and seatbelt usage. Jill, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Riley. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, meteorologist Tiffany Savona has your first alert, full forecast. We'll be right back. Hello there, watch live with Kelly and Mark. Weekday mornings at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Shelby's Floral, your homegrown neighbor with worldwide connections for over 45 years. Shelby's, more than just a flower shop, specializing in beautiful customer arrangements, live plants, silk florals, and home decor. We're unique and we're here for all of life's occasions, all year long. Shelby's Floral at the corner of Clearwater and Edison in Kennewick. Stop by today and let our experienced designers help you with all of your floral needs. Shelby's Floral. Here comes the sun. Get moving with a new car from Overturf Kia. The new 2024 Kia Sorento gives you three great ways to save fuel. Available with a fuel-efficient gas engine, a gas-electric hybrid, or as a plug-in hybrid electric vehicle. A new 2024 Kia Sorento S with all-wheel drive starts at just $40,110. Plus, get 1.9% interest for up to 48 months. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Get 3.9% APR for 48 months plus 1,000 purchase allowance on a 2024 Cadillac Lyric when you finance the Cadillac Financial. Make your first move with battery power made by steel. Right now, save $50 on select battery lawnmower sets. Real steel. Find yours. Just how massive is the massive four-day sale at Denver Mattress? Well, for starters, the more you buy, the more you save. Save 100 bucks on every thousand you spend. Or save up to $200 on our Doctor's Choice lineup, any size, any model. Check out the Summit for only $299.99. And get up to $500 off select Tempur-Pedic adjustable mattress sets and receive a free $300 gift. Plus six years no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the massive four-day sale at Denver Mattress ends Monday. Save now with Bymart's latest savings book, celebrating 20 years of employee ownership with great savings, including $50 off a Mega Master stainless steel six burner gas grill. Save more now only at Bymart. The Y Card, a powerful resource for former Hanford and DUE employees. If you worked in the area and have come down with cancer, lung disease, Parkinson's, or renal failure, you may be eligible for financial compensation and health care services. A simple phone call can get the process started. Atomic Home Health. Don't wait. Call today. <clears throat> From Apple Valley News Now, first alert weather with Tiffany Savona. Good morning. I hope everyone is having a great start to your Thursday. We're finally drying things out, but I wanted to give you an update on the monthly rain totals because they've been pretty impressive. Notice that Pendleton, we've seen just over two and a half inches of rain the entire month. We're more than an inch and a half above average. That's good news because the foothills of the blue in that abnormally dry category. Walla Walla, 2.31 inches. We're about three quarters of an inch, a little more than that above average. In Hermiston, 1.73, we're over an inch above average there. Tri-Cities, 
We're still above average, but just not quite as much. 82 hundredths, about 35 hundredths above average. And the only location where we have a deficit is in Yakima, where we've only seen about a quarter of an inch. Big difference there, much drier across the Yakima and Kittitas Valleys, and we're about a quarter of an inch below average for this time of year. But we're not going to add any more rain to our totals today as things are looking drier. We do have a lot of clouds out there, as you can clearly see that on our Kennewick Sky Cam. And we are going to see more sunshine, but we'll have to wait until this afternoon. Temperatures are starting off in the 40s and 50s. It's somewhat chilly start out there. 48 in Walla Walla, 48 in Hermiston, 48 degrees in Pendleton, 50 in Tri-Cities, 47 in Prosser, 41 degrees in Yakima. It was a windy day yesterday. Thankfully, those wind speeds have really come down overnight. So right now, winds are out of the south and west between 5 and about 13 miles per hour, the exception, the Kittitas Valley, where those wind speeds are typically a little bit higher. But winds are going to not be a factor today, which is good news. Here are the clouds around this morning. We're partly to mostly cloudy in spots, and then we'll see more sunshine by lunchtime, and then mostly sunny for many of us later on today with a few more clouds across the Yakima Valley. High temperatures today will be jumping into the 70s after seeing highs only in the 50s and 60s yesterday. How about 74 in Tri-Cities? Not bad. 75 in Hanford, 71 Connell, 73 in Yakima, and just below 70, upper 60s along the foothills of the Blues. Overnight tonight, we will see partly cloudy skies. Temperatures will be dropping back down into the 40s, mid and upper 40s by early Friday morning. And then by Friday afternoon, we're going to warm it up a few degrees. We'll put Tri-Cities at 76, 73 in Prosser in the 70s along the foothills of the Blue, 72 Walla Walla, 74 in Hermeson. 74 and Toppenish. It's a long holiday weekend. If you're taking off tomorrow and making it a four day weekend and you're going to be traveling, say, to Seattle, showers will be possible tomorrow and on Saturday as another upper level disturbance swings in. But the weather will improve Sunday 61 and we'll be back in the 70s for Memorial Day. Same story for Portland. Coastal showers look possible again Friday into Saturday with that system. Temperatures on the cooler side, 60s. We're back up to 70 and we're dry on Sunday with more 70s getting close to 80 on Monday. And then if you're traveling to the east or to the north and east into Spokane, we do have a slight chance for a shower tomorrow. A few showers possible with that same disturbance Saturday. We're dry on Sunday and then we have more 70s arriving by Monday. So here locally, if you're going to be traveling, no problems today, tomorrow. Saturday, the wind picks up a little bit with that upper level disturbance. I think it'll bring us a few more clouds in the Columbia Basin and breezy conditions. But then Sunday, we're heating up 78. We're in the middle 80s for Monday. 73 today in Yakima. More clouds tomorrow. 72 upper 60s briefly Saturday. And then we're back in the 80s on Memorial Day. Jill. Thank you, Tiffany. When we return on Good Morning Northwest, it was just a regular day in rowing practice when a sea lion decides to hop on, but this isn't an ordinary ride. Why it turned into a rescue? We'll be right back. Life's better when you're under our roof because when you feel totally protected, your family's free to enjoy their dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Apple Valley Eats. All right, so my job here is the food and beverage executive chef. I've been here 10 years. Started off here as an entry level cook. Um, I was given the opportunity to step into the executive chef role, which is the position that I'm in. I've been in that position for about six years now, almost. Uh, what I do here, I handle not so much the day-to-day -day operations, but everything that goes into the menu planning, the SOPs for all of the cooks, um, recipes, ensuring all the recipes are all the same, the consistency, the vision of the food and beverage department as far as the aesthetics, what is it gonna look like? What does the food preparation look like? We have everything from catering, fast food, employee meals, which is a cafeteria style setting, and then uh, obviously our bread and butter, what we do at Buffet here um, at Legends. What we like to do here is try to keep our team members happy, try to be versatile with them, uh, try to be flexible, whatever needs that they may have, um, you know, we try to accommodate. We do have childcare here on property, so if somebody needs to drop their kids off at childcare, that, that option's always there. You could come into our department with no experience at all, but we're gonna show you how to hold a knife, we're gonna show you how to cut vegetables, we're gonna show you how to cut meat, we're gonna show you how to use all the equipment. Is 
the comfort of knowing that I'm gonna have my consistent 40 hours a week. And that goes from everywhere from a dishwasher all the way up to my position. It's another benefit of working at Legends. I like to think of it more as a career rather than a job. Now is a great time to get an offer you'll love on the Accord Hybrid and CRV Hybrid. Inventory is here, so bring on the fun. Bring on the weekend getaways. Bring on the memories. And get a great offer on a Honda. Name the 2023 Kelly Blue Books KBB.com Best Value Brand. Buy online, reserve from select dealers, or hurry into your local Honda dealer today. During the massive four-day sale at Furniture Row, when we say the savings are massive, we mean massive. Shop today and take 100 bucks off every thousand you spend and watch the savings stack up. And with the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed, it's the perfect time to design a new living room, dining room, bedroom, or fall into a new mattress. Check out doorbusters while they last. And financing, we're talking six years, no interest. But don't wait, savings this massive won't last. Life's better when you're under our roof. Because when you feel totally protected, your family's free to enjoy their dreams. American Family Insurance. Insure carefully. Dream fearlessly. World News Tonight with David Muir. Twice each day. Apple Valley News Now. Good morning. Here's your close to home segment. You can leave that umbrella at home today, but grab the jacket. Temperatures are down into the 40s for many of us. 47 in Prosser, 47 at Hanford, 46 in Toppenish, a little bit cooler in Yakima, 41. And we're at 50 degrees on the dot in the Tri-Cities. It will be warmer today. We're getting closer and closer to average each and every day. Look for highs around 73 in Yakima, 75 in Toppenish. Still in the 60s in Cleallum over into Ellensburg. But as we go a little bit closer into the Columbia Basin, we're at 74 in the Tri-City, 72 in Hermiston and Prosser, 73 Moses Lake. And we'll keep it just shy of 70, 69 in Walla Walla, 67 in Dayton, and 68 degrees in Pendleton. Joe? In California, the AUCLA rowers boat team got a surprise when a sea lion pup hopped on board during practice. It was all fun until the group realized this was no ordinary ride. Leslie Marin reports how this rare encounter turned into a serious rescue. We've never seen anything like that. UCLA rower Logan Hibbert is used to seeing sea lions in the water off Marina Del Rey. But what she never expected was one to get this close. He just hopped right in. So uh, it, it was kind of like you didn't really know what was going on until he was in the boat. Photos show the moment the sea lion pup hopped into her boat last Monday as the rowing team was practicing and quickly made himself at home. He just kind of like fell asleep and he took a little nap on my leg and he was like sleep for a little bit and then he would wake up. Hibbert says the pup stayed put for more than 15 minutes as she rowed to shore and that's when she realized something wasn't right. It was really um, lucid and and couldn't really like and he was just walking around kind of in circles on the dock you know just like spinning so that's when you could really tell that there was something wrong with him this animal was suffering from malnutrition the sea lion is now in the care of the marine mammal care center in san pedro they provided these photos of the youngster believed to be under one years old who is now receiving care for being malnourished CEO John Warner says it's too early to tell how long it will take the pup to recover. And while it looked like he may have wanted affection, that is not the case. These animals are not drawn to people. The circumstances drew that animal to want safety out of the water, probably given the condition it was in. Warner praises the rowing team for not putting the pup back in the water, where it most likely wouldn't have survived. The pup was named Savior by the woman who called it into the center. But Hibbert and the UCLA rowing team affectionately named him Brew, short for Bruin. Um, we figured it would be a really cool way to kind of um, make him a member of our family and sort of be able to call out his name every time that we row. And they hope to see Brew back on the water soon. I just hope that he is able to fully recover eventually and hopefully go back um, where he belongs and um, keep swimming and practicing with us on Marina Del Rey. The Marine Mammal Care Center says if you ever find yourself in this situation, try to back away from the animal as much as possible. 
Right now on Good Morning Northwest, the Yakima County Sheriff's Office is defending its decision to shoot and kill more than 60 roosters they suspected of being involved in a cockfighting ring. How it's connected to a case